Hello, Sagittarius. It's time for your reading for June of this current year, which is 2019, because I actually remember today. Yay. It's going to be a Thunderdome. Means you're going to be reading for you and the person you're dealing with, Cross Watchers, accordingly, of course. It's for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. You can see I got my antenna all spraying out today and shit. I actually need to do my hair. I just haven't gotten that far yet. And I feel like I want to play Dark Souls. But, regardless, we're going to get started with y'all. So let's see what's going on with you. Group 1, we have 7 of Wands. Feeling like giving up or not putting up a fight anymore. Wants and Wishes is the Hierophant. Fears and Rejections is Four of Wands Reverse. Situation is the Princess of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This could also be Taurus since this is the Hierophant. We got the Queen of Cups and the Obstacles and Challenges coming against you. Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer types. Then we have the Empress right here as the catalyst as well as the final result, the beginning and the ending. And your vibration might be you, a Leo, or an Aries, not having any passion to do anything. Just kind of sitting there staring at these flaming wands like, you know, like, ah, I don't feel like touching those today. Those aren't very important today. My chair is pretty far in, actually. Hmm. I probably should have ate something before I started, but that's okay. Um, da 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 da. Okay, so there's no offer coming from this dude who could easily give an offer. It could be a provider, um, but definitely has like delayed it, if not like just caused it to halt completely because it's just like no. And it feels like there is a missed opportunity somewhere. It might be you where it comes to control. Um, might have been an issue where you're kind of possibly squishing the sky or it could be an Aries doing this. But it's like there is a missed opportunity here with them. So, let's see. First one is someone feels like giving up with the Seven of Wands because they're, it's just fighting. Like, no one's even fighting for any the, the wand up on the top of the hill. It's just like, new. No. It's just, it, it just keeps leading to nothing. It, like, there's a goal here, but it just goes down to like everyone just wanting to beat each other up instead of focusing on the goal. Like, it's right up on this hill. They could all just use their sticks to reach up and get it, and it's like, no. We're just gonna be petty and beat each other up. Now, um, Princess of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Somebody could be saying some really nasty stuff while they research. Could be a spy for ill intention. Um, a person who's really restless because they just feel like they have no time to rest, or they're just not capable of really thinking of what they're doing it's like someone going out of their way to like snoop on somebody to see if they can like verify their own biases but not really thinking about what that's going to do to themselves you know like someone isn't really thinking about hmm like they want to give up because they want to stop all of the petty arguments and such but it's like, the way this stuff's going around, it's not causing anybody to recover from any of this shit, too. It's like, someone's going out of their way to cause more issues than they are trying to let things go to rest. Then we have the Hierophant here. The commitment, the relationship, traditions, values, that was all in the past. Good times, right? Good things from the past. It's what you're wanting and wishing for. You know, because, like, this is all pretty sickly torturing you and driving you insane. Just a little bit. Just enough to where it's just, you know, mm. Your obstacles and challenges could be Scorpio, Cancer, or a Pisces. Queen of Cups, someone who's very much in touch with their emotions, has glasses on to represent that they can see things. Probably more and perceive more than, um, 
what they lead on to, I feel like. So you could be trying to perceive something or you could be dealing with a water sign. You know, someone who, like this person could be perceiving that everything is just like, not so grand, you know, like there could be a female figure here, maybe even a faithful spouse, um, who might have caused a lot of issues or there were already issues present within this household that's just led to all sorts of things. It's like they perceived there was something wrong and they were looking for a means of escape. Trying to use their emotions to, gu to guide them. Yeah, their emotions to guide guided them to walk away. It's just they're having a really hard time doing so. It's like they're kind of hanging on with the Eight of Cups reverse. Like, none of the cups are empty. They're still trying to go back to this one person. It seems like... It, it's like they're trying to walk away, but they keep... They're walking away from this person, but they're still going over to this person who might be causing trouble. And with the Four of Swords, with this person who might be causing trouble, once does not want to think about the fears and rejections, is um, probably how to make an offer to repair things or try to even start to make a foundation somewhere. I feel like this person just wants to get away from all of it. Like, there was a commitment, but it's just kind of like, uh, I don't feel the love here anymore. But it's just hard for them to let go. Then there's this Empress person. Who's the, what started this and what's going to end it. What was brought in and what is out. She's like a mother figure or someone who's a mother, but she wants to fight. She wants to argue. She wants to go right into battle. She wants to do something. She is in her element, but she is very, very much in the mood of um, probably going after this Queen of Cups who decided to walk away. <laughs> like, could be an Aries, could be Libra, Sagitt Libra, Aquarius, Gemini right here, but this person... They feel comfortable almost like because when i look at this empress here it's like she's the embodiment of comfort and care but it's like this person is in the element of where like they're really comfortable being in confrontation and it's like this queen of cups right here just decided to walk away from that because they perceive that everything is coming out negatively you know yeah and this is the ending theme ace of pentacles reverse uh this would be overwhelming, and this is why you don't want to take any action with this group one. Hmm. Where are your three advice cards? I wonder. Hmm. Yeah, feeling emotionally drained, like the options aren't like fulfilling to you emotionally anymore. Seven of Cups reverse. Um, definitely don't want to offer your cup up because it'd be the Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio in this reading too who's not doing that. They aren't offering their, they aren't offering that seventh cup up or that eighth cup up. They took that eighth cup and they are trying to walk away. And that's why it almost feels like you knocked over your own opportunities. Like, this cup wasn't worth it. Hmm. That's yours, group one. So we will move on to group two. Two seconds. Okay, group two. It is your turn. So let's see what's on your side of the story. If you even, like, reflect the side of group one side of the story. Who knows? Well, I really don't know. Anyway, I'm just a messenger. So let's see, group two. What is going on with you? Maybe you're the one who's trying to offer the cup out. Because it seems like group one just doesn't even want to deal with handling the cup at all.
Ooh, we'll start with you. Yeah, yeah, there you are. Prince of Cups right here, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Or someone just emulating the energy. Uh, Eight of Wands reverse in the Wants and Wishes. Ten of Wands in the Fears and Rejections. Eight of Swords reverse in the situation. Queen of Swords and the obstacles and challenges going against you. The catalyst and the final result is the Wheel of Fortune reverse. Nothing's turning. Nothing's happening. That's how it started. That's how it'll begin. King of Swords. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. And counterpart Queen of Swords is on the board. Um... <clears throat> Someone who is really cutthroat and brutal when they speak with honesty or talk about their truth, whatever the hell that is. Mind you, um, there's the truth and then there is the perception of the truth. Let us keep this in mind after all. But this is somebody who is um, very, they're, they're not too much in their emotion, but they will tell you exactly what they think about things like, just sitting on the throne, just thinking about things all the time. Um, ooh. Group two, you have the five of wands as well. Hmm. You want to offer your cup despite all of the arguments and fighting. Like, it doesn't even matter to you all the petty fights. You just want to offer your cup. But unfortunately, everybody, it, it just ends up arguing and that goal is just lost. Then we have the Eight of Swords reverse. This is like coming out of some mental headspace that's kept you locked away and stuck in your head. Um, yeah, you're definitely trying to get out of that, but there's still just this one little thing that's holding you back with that one cup. Like, you want to completely escape this mentality. That's why you're trying to offer your cup up. You're, it's like your last emotional plea in a sense but it's like you just want to escape this but you're just still hanging on for some reason then we got the eight of wands and the wants and wishes i feel like not wanting change because it talks about change movement swiftness action haste like, things aren't changing, and it's like, you're just, you feel like you should just let the cup go. Unfortunately, the cup still got you there. It's the situation. You're trying to let go of this cup. You want to let go of this cup because things aren't changing. It's actually starting to get on your nerves. <laughs> just a little bit. Just just enough to make you, I would leave in a heartbeat, but mm. Any other person I would have taken off on. That's like what I'm getting here. Um, Queen of Swords, obstacle and challenge. Um, also the counterparts of the King of Swords, but this could also be the same person too. This is someone who's decisive, someone who's grounded in their logic and thinking. Also not very emotional, but they're going out and having a good time. Or they're just the person who's having a good time. Or they're the indulgence or something like that. Someone who's grounded, someone who can um, deal with problems, I feel like. And I feel like... Someone has to really sit there and figure out, you know, um, what is actually going to bring them some celebration, some joy, some happiness. Because these are people who are all getting along. And, like, all these people up here who are arguing over nothing. Like, whatever they could be arguing over is nothing compared to that fifth lawn that's up on the hill. They're all just beating each other with dead sticks. That's a living stick. And it's just like, you know... You're, you're trying to figure out how to, like, <clears throat> very groundedly and logically deal with shit. Ooh, double whammy. Ten of swords on, t or ten of swords. Ten of wands on ten of wands. Someone's afraid the burden isn't going to be lifted. But, only because they it, it's almost like, It's almost like someone's afraid of just the burden being over with because it's like it would be a burden for it to be over with because you wouldn't know what to do next. You know, like rejecting the burden is a burden in itself. <laughs> or attempting to end the burden is what is a burden, you know? And the catalyst as well as the final result. What started all this and what has ended it? Someone did not make an offer of value. Someone withheld it. 
Um, someone just pulled back, someone didn't deliver it the way it should have been with the Knight of Pentacles. Could be Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo type. Or just someone emulating their energy or whatever. Ooh, and we got a book. Okay. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio once again. Someone doesn't want to offer their love because they're too busy being in the element of not being emotional whatsoever. Just being like, mm, no, I'm just going to sit here and observe. I'm going to sit here and make my own little judgment calls. Might even blame you for it a little bit, you know? Like... So Therese, this could be you in here, but it's like someone doesn't want to take a leap of faith to you, a Leo or a Aries, because they have their back to you because they're looking at the past, like, for some truth. Or you could be Sagittarius trying to, like, turn your back to what it is you found out, but not being able to actually go ahead and take that leap of faith like it's like your eyes are stuck to the past but you're still trying to make yourself look like it doesn't bother you a little bit yeah someone feels like they've just like sucked the tree dry and now it's just not producing anything at all um, someone feels as though, like, someone is being selfish. Probably this water sign who has been all over the place. Feels like, you know, they're only worried about themselves, not caring about what they do to other people. Ooh, two. I'll give you two. And someone has the wrong judgment about how they were betrayed. Or the fact that there's no resurrection in this, it's what makes them feel more betrayed than anything else. It's just like, you know... I'm tortured. I went out of the box. That's not the right thing to do. I don't know. But that is your reading Sagittarius and Sagittarius cross watchers alike. Thank you for watching my videos. If you want a personal reading, uh, my email is down below. I don't really charge for them, but I take tips and donations. And I'm going to do a shadow judgment next week. So have fun watching that. And I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.